here we are in downtown Dubuque, Iowa with... Jeez, you again? Yeah, me again. <laughs> if this guy looks familiar, uh, here's why. And I'm joined by Andy Skelton, who is the brand ambassador? Yes, it's just a fancy word, way of saying beer guy. This is Andy Skelton. I could swear I've met you before. I think, yeah, our, our paths have crossed before, too. Yeah. Are you just like going to different breweries to keep coming on the show, or? Pretty much, it's good exposure for all around, yeah. All right. Andy, you've been on the show more than I have, and I'm the host. I know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Back where it all started. You're, you're mm -hmm. at Back Pocket, but not in Coralville. We're in Dubuque. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about where we're at. This is the Back Pocket Tap Room. Correct, yes. So we don't do any brewing here on site. We're okay. leaving the brewing uh, for Coralville and our pilot pub in Cedar Rapids. So this is just like a satellite extension. With the beer that they're making in Coralville and to some degree in Cedar Rapids, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Yeah, too, mm -hmm. many, too many cooks, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you've got the great beer being made in Cedar Rapids and of course in Coralville where the mothership is. Mm -hmm. And then people can drink the back pocket beer here in downtown Dubuque. Now I gotta tell you, when I lived here, this was all just empty space. This was just a, a giant warehouse that was doing nothing. And I suspect yeah. that was the case for quite some time. I want to talk about this building first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Where are we? Yeah, so this the building is the Novelty Ironworks building. This Novelty is, Ironworks, they used to make like like fake like doors uh, like and funny like fake vomit and yeah, iron so. dog poop, that kind of stuff, <laughs> like novelties, party tricks. Exactly, something uh, like that. And so, and some doors and windows, I okay, think. Okay, doors and too. windows. Yeah. That, that used to be it. Mm -hmm. um, they've repurposed this space and made it this. I mean, the whole vibe in this part of town is very cool. Yeah. Uh, ever since we moved in, the community's really embraced us, and there's a whole beer culture that the entire city of Dubuque didn't have before, and now we're slowly starting to get there, which You're is awesome. You're never gonna go broke selling beer to Dubuqueers. Mm -hmm. that's, just a, that's just a fact of life. So you have a back pocket, which is available all across uh, the state of Iowa, yep. and you're taking over, what, with the, the Coralville uh, Brewery, and the pilot system that you've got there in, in Cedar Rapids. And this is the third location? Correct, yeah. So the idea here, the tap room, is that they can come and enjoy all the different styles. And you've got kind of a, a, a different vibe here as far as what they can do while they're, while they're drinking. Yeah, so we, um, we've got a couple different things that the other two locations don't have. Uh, the two big ones are we've got beer cocktails. So combining beer and liquor together to find some cool recipes, formulations there, playing mad scientists. Yeah. We might have to try some later on. Beer-centric <laughs> cocktails is what they call it. And the idea is that you've got your delicious back pocket beer and then you augment it with hooch, booze? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So that you mix things together and you thought, this is good? Yeah, there was Put a little bit of this in. You just, like you said, mad scientist experiments? Yeah, I mean, there were some home runs that, were, that have been on the, schedule, or on the list the entire time. There are some strikeouts, too. What's, the, what's the first? beer-centric cocktail that you made that you thought, well, this is the, we could put this on the menu. This is good. What was the first one? Probably the, the first one was uh, a root beer that we make. Uh, so we do our root beer with vanilla rum, and it's fantastic. It's easily our best seller. Yeah. Now, if you want to come here and just get a slingshot, they'll sell you a slingshot. Yeah, it's just something that they offer. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you do anything with slingshots? Yes. How dare you? <laughs> the slingshot is a perfect beer that doesn't need to be augmented in any way, shape, or form. But I'm listening. What <laughs> about the new styles? Mm -hmm. What have you come up with recently? I know that there was the, the Burfest special that was yep. very well received. By the way, we never got any of that, did we? Can we fix that? Do you have any of that Burfest uh, beer? I mean, could, yeah, we've got some back there. I can make it work. I love this place. Yeah. Can we maybe do some drinking? Yeah, let's do that. I want to try these beer-centric cocktails and uh, uh, everything that I mentioned. Let's do it. Make it happen. <laughs> yes. And we were, we were saying as we were setting up this shot that we didn't want to do any more than three beers. I couldn't pick uh, between three, mm -hmm. so we got four. So we're going to go down the line here, and <clears throat> it's going to be the best for me <laughs> and for you when you come to Back Pocket. Where should we get started? We'll start with the pretty one at the end here. Yes. This one's the Blueberry IPA, which we mentioned about. Okay, Blueberry mm -hmm. IPA, how long has this been around? Just about two weeks. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Now you can't get this in store shelves? No, unfortunately. This is only available at, at Coralville, Cedar Rapids, and here in Dubuque. Exactly, yep. Mm -hmm. So not too crazy with blueberry, but not too bitter as well. It's a good mix between the no, two. No, no, but it's no, it's just the right blueberry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say these are from Michigan. <laughs> 
I'm something of a blueberry aficionado as mm. well as a beer aficionado. <laughs> no, that's really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, just the right amount of tart and bitter and going on at the same time. And mm. You talked about Slingshot being one of your favorites. So yes. this is the, the classic or one of our staple ones you can find all year long. This is our Slingshot. Slingshot, the Dunkel. I've, mm -hmm. I've had this, I've had kegs of this at the house for parties. Oh, nice. I've gotten, uh, yeah, six barrels of this and. Uh, <laughs> is it a good one that, like, if your oh, friends aren't. So aren't good aren't a huge uh, like crap beer fans this is a good stepping stone you one know what that's people. why i get it at parties because there are friends who will say like i'm you know you got the tv show i don't like craft beer <laughs> and i say i've got one you can try mm -hmm. and if you don't like it my feelings won't be hurt and you know what they like it they love it good all right <laughs> up next we've got this this is the burr fest this is uh, the burr special fest. one we did for the two weeks ago for a burr fest you just made and uh, this probably won't be available by the time this thing airs we'll see yeah uh, it's, it's we're coming really low on it right it's now it's important to follow <laughs> these guys on facebook so you know what's available mm -hmm. and what special beers they'll have so i knew this was this was going to be here because i like to do my research <laughs> So what is this? What are we? Uh... This is a cherry chocolate Russian Imperial Stout. It's a very thick beer. It's like a oh loaf of bread. Oh my! <laughs> Easy. Whoa! <laughs> that is something else. Mm -hmm. You've got the two distinct. You got the cherry and the chocolate. Oh boy, Mary, I got one for you. <laughs> oh, is this delicious? Mm -hmm. It's a Whopper, too. It's 11.1%. So you, oh. you're not the one driving. Hopefully, uh, no. Mary's going to be driving. Yeah. No, that is fantastic. Cherry chocolate Russian Imperial. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. All right. I don't know that I want to put this glass down, but you do have one of these uh, beer-centric. Hang on, one more. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to live in this. OK. <laughs> uh, and then finally, the beer-centric cocktail. This is something that's unique <clears throat> to the tap room here, the back pocket tap room in Dubuque. Yeah, so I mentioned before, we all try to pick our own, like all the bartenders, we try to pick our own. Well, you're talking to me, so I had to pick out my favorite. So Which one, is this the one that you came up with? Yes, so this is the Andy's uh, Mint Coffee. Andy's so Mint Coffee. So a little bit of uh, Dr. McGillicuddy's in there. So okay. a little bit of mint in there. Okay. Our uh, Wake Up Iowa Coffee Stout. Which is great. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, vanilla rum, too. There's mm -hmm. a lot going on in mm -hmm. this. Lots of research went in this one. Oh, that's really good, too. If you like mint, it's just mm, perfect. Yeah, this is like, um, uh, you'll pardon the pun, you know Andy's candies? Oh, yeah. Andy, this mm -hmm. is your candy. Mm -hmm. That's what this tastes like. I feel like this is what they should give you uh, when you, with your check at the Olive Garden. You know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Oh, dynamite, mm. dynamite, dynamite stuff. Dubuque, Iowa. Where can they find this place? Uh, we're on the corner of 10th and Elm here in the Novelty Ironworks building. 10th and Elm, it's the tap room here at Back Pocket. Play some great video games, drink some delicious beer. You can get food in here too, right? Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I, I, just when I think I can't love Dubuque anymore, <laughs> they open this place. Mm -hmm. It's the Back Pocket tap room. It's phenomenal. And uh, I'm getting back into the rush this breakfast. Yeah, dive in, please. Guys. <laughs> Get here now. So good. Andy, thanks as awesome. always. Nice to see you again, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. see you next year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love the long tables. You know, you're going to sit next to someone you don't know and have a beer and a conversation with them.